For those unfamiliar with the anatomy of the spine, is separated into three sections, the cervical, thoracic, and the lumbar. Cal Goggins of Central Florida is a patient with an unusual case, having damage in all three areas of the spine. I've been an IT project manager for the last 18 years, um, and now I'm switching gears. A buddy of mine owns Sunshine Small Designs Dental Offices, him and his wife, uh, Dr. Ariana Clayton. And I'm uh, switching gears, and I'm going to be uh, managing a few offices for them. Uh, I live in Florida, we do a lot of water sports, so a lot of beach volleyball, wakeboarding, surfing, um, but snowboarding is probably my favorite, even though we only get to do it about twice a year. So, and those are all things that I haven't been able to do the last few years because of all my injuries. Um, and so that was one of the primary reasons, uh, other than the pain, of course, why I wanted, you know, looking to get all this fixed so I could get back to, you know, being active. Cal's condition compounded over the years after suffering from multiple accidents and attempts to find relief with conservative treatments. I guess it all started when I was in high school. Um, I blew out of the back of a pickup truck on a mattress and landed head first coming down from about 12 foot. So, but that's when I started having problems because I landed head first. So I had a lot of um, problems with my neck, thorax, my lower back. Um, you know, I had surgery in my elbows and hips and things like that from the, the fall. But uh, as far as, you know, back, we just started seeing a chiropractor uh, for years after that, all the way through high school and into college. And uh, so I guess that's where it started. Um, and then uh, when I was in boot camp or basic training, I uh, started having trouble carrying the rucksack. And uh, so I ended up having to have a medical discharge. I had to have knee surgery as well. So just kind of medical discharge, went out and had knee surgery. And then after that, I started looking in, started going back to chiropractic, but I started noticing that um, I would feel good after the adjustment. It almost seemed like it was making things too loose. Maybe it wasn't, but that's just how it felt. And it seemed like it was kind of making it worse. So, so I started, went and had epidural, facet blocks, trigger point injections. Then they started putting me on medication and that was a nightmare, you know, with the whole, um, you know, going down the opiate road and, and that was just a nightmare. And um, then about two years ago, I was on my way to a client site and uh, traffic on the interstate came to a stop in a truck behind me and didn't see the traffic stopped. He looked down at his phone, he looked up, so he didn't hit his brakes. So he hit my car going 70 and just destroyed the car, pushed the trunk all the way up to the front seat. And um, I got out and, you know, I've been dealing with the pain all these years, so nothing really seemed, you know, that different at the time. And then the next day is when I really started feeling, you know, the, the headaches were gotten worse. And right after that accident, it started getting to the point where I would start vomiting in the morning or I'd get a, this migraine would come on and you just start, you know, vomiting at the client side or wherever you're at and missing a lot of work. Cal visited an orthopedic surgeon who recommended removing his discs and fusing his vertebrae. He wasn't interested in going through such a major ordeal and an invasive surgery. Instead, he took the recommendation of a friend to contact the Bonatti Spine Institute for a review of his particular case. Before I even made the trip to see if I wanted to do this, they reviewed my MRIs. For the consultation, um, I met with Dr. Uteg and uh, he reviewed the MRIs uh, that I provided. It was really pretty cool because his diagnosis was like spot on, like with me even really saying what my pain is or whatever, he kind of like made a game out of it where they put everything up on the board and he's like, all right, so you're probably feeling this here, you know, and, and a sharp pain here on your left side or right side, like all the way from my neck, you know, down to my lumbar. That kind of made me feel like I was on the right track with them. I ended up having seven herniated discs, eight bulging discs, two annulus tears, a compression fracture, stenosis, and then a lot of arthritis, like a lot of arthritis in my, um, my neck. We laid out like a little roadmap and said, okay, where, you know, what's hurting you most? You know, which, which areas are the, the worst? And uh, we noticed, we figured most of it was, you know, coming from my neck and lumbar. Cal's initial procedures corrected issues on the right side of his cervical spine. So after the first surgery, the next day I had this super sharp pain on my arm where I couldn't hardly, couldn't hardly move my arm. Well, we knew that the next area below uh, was injured. So I guess it caused it to, I don't know if it caused it to flare up or now I could just feel that pain since the top, you know, the one above it was fixed, I guess is the way it works. But um, anyway, so this super sharp pain on my arm and uh, they said, hey, you know, come in the next, we can get you in the next day for surgery. And they already knew what was going on. Went in the next day, had, had the procedure done. And uh, instantly, you know, I had, you know, relieved my arm. I mean, it was really bad pain in the beginning of that. After the second procedure, it was gone. The next step in a surgical summary was to tackle the left side. So, okay, now we're gonna, on the, the next level or two down, it was on the left side that was more, you know, damaged, or the, the nerve, I guess, was uh, being pinched there. So. Um, 
they did that procedure and almost the same thing happened. It's like the disc right below it, super sharp pain on this arm. And um, like, like this one was worse though and I couldn't hardly move it. During the post-op, I, I you know, told Dr. Utega I had this super sharp pain running down my arm. And um, it, like I said, it was almost exactly the same scenario uh, for the right side. But um, I went home Friday evening and it was just, it got really bad. And I'm sitting here thinking, how am I gonna go from Friday to Monday you know, before I can see the surgeon. So I was gonna to go to the emergency room. Well, my mom, my mom, mom looked on the paper and called the on-call uh, um, uh, on nurse. And uh, on-call nurse called Dr. Uteg. He said, have him come in tomorrow. It was on Saturday. And uh, so Saturday morning we, we called him up. And he said, yeah, give us about an hour and start heading this way. So by the time we got there, they had the, uh, the MRI guy there, the anesthesiologist, the surgeon, the whole medical staff was there on a Saturday, like just you know, within an hour's notice, ready to go. So they brought me in, had the MRIs, uh, saw, what, saw what was the issue, uh, brought me right over to surgery, put me in the, put me in my, you know, in the little surgical gown and stuff. And then that one was a little rough because I had to stay awake on that one because they had to, you know, t tell me where, if you feel this and, and if you, you know, where I felt the pain at. And, and um, but as soon as they got done with the procedure, that's, I mean, this sharp, it was, pain was really sharp and it felt like it was going to pop out of my arm, but that was gone, you know, immediately. So it was pretty cool, I thought, on a Saturday. Having a variety of injuries over the years, Cal compares the difference in traditional surgeries versus the patented Bonatti spine procedures. I had, I think, 13 surgeries before that with different broken bones and stuff. And, you know, I've always put, been completely, you know, put under. So I was a little nervous at first when they said they're not going to put you under, but they explained to me that um, they had to keep you on the twilight state so they can bring you bring you to and ask you questions like where do you so they can really pinpoint where the pain is and because um, a lot of this relief is done immediately on some things you know when they drill out the the hole and the nerve comes out you make it a little wider that instantly you know lets off that nerve that's being pinched just kind of immediately you know get relief so um, that's what it's explained to me anyway they, they put you under and bring you back so you can kind of tell them where the where the pain is and if you're feeling it if or if you're still feeling the pain or if you're not what I really enjoyed was not being in recovery, uh, the recovery room for a long, I hate the recovery room after surgeries, and there, literally maybe 15, 20 minutes. So I would go and have the surgery in recovery for 15, 20 minutes, and then boom, in the car, you know, I'm walking to the car, um, whether it was the, you know, the cervical area, lumbar, or, you know, the thoracic or lumbar. I didn't think with the lumbar, I didn't think I'd be able to walk out, but, you know, I was, that was like the easiest one, actually, at the lumbar. Um, 15 minutes and I'm in the car headed back home. The Bonatti spine procedures are custom tailored to each individual surgical guest, as no two cases are exactly alike. But regardless of the case, the Bonatti Spine Institute delivers quality comprehensive care for everyone. I've had seven procedures so far over the last two months and I think I've got about maybe three more to go. I don't think you would normally have that many, but like this is all built up over 20 years, you know, with different injuries and stuff. So. Um, getting all fixed, I'm pretty impressed that, you know, seven surgeries in two months. Since I've gone through the whole gamut of different doctors, different treatments and stuff like that, um, and this has been, you know, this is definitely the best decision I made was to, you know, to go to the Bonatti, you know, Spine Institute and have, have the um, procedures. I was impressed how they can do more than one type of thing, you know, like I said, I've had different pains, sharp, burning, stabbing, and, you know, different areas of my spine, and, you know, they were able to address, you know, they had a procedure that addressed most, you know, almost all of those, you know, those issues. You don't have anything to lose. Um, if you've already had an accident or whatever, and you've got MRIs, you can send them in to them, and they'll look at them for, you know, have, bring them in for consultation, it doesn't cost anything. And uh, the financing department was great to work with, you know, they, it's like, it's kind of like a one one stop shop there. It was awesome not have to drive around going to the MRI and X-rays. They have on site MRIs and X-rays, and so when you go there, everything's there. It's very comfortable. They've got. I brought my daughter. You know, she's in the theater room there, watching movies and playing video games and eating. They have ice cream and stuff, so she got a kick out of that. And um, so it's not like sitting in a doctor's office. It's very comfortable. You don't have to drive. When we have the MRIs, just walk to the next the MRI building. X-rays, everything is done, and then. Um, they're shot right over, you know, um, ready for the doctor to review. So it's, it's cool not having to drive all over the place to get everything taken care of.